Real music, real interviews, real information. That's why we call it Real Gospel with the x man think about hmm well here's the group called no change with the song tell somebody in a second we're going to hear the story behind the glory my name is the x-man and this is real gospel Now 
Gospel is the place where God gets the glory and artists tell their stories. I'm so honored to have these men of God with me on the program today. They go by the name of No Chains, and in the spiritual aspect of it, I mean, that's where we all want to be, with No Chains. We don't want to be bound by anything. Fellas, welcome to Real Gospel. Hey, how you doing? Excellent. I'm doing excellent. Thanks for asking. And so for the sake of the listening audience whom can't see you, but they can hear you, let's do sort of like a, 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 round, a, a round round, robin around the table, something like that. And so you all introduce yourselves to the listeners. How you doing? My name is Harry Nash. I'm from Willow Grove, Pennsylvania. I'm Herb Hunt from Syracuse, New York. I'm Kenneth Gary from Fort Smith, Virginia. And I'm Gene Austin out of Flint, Michigan. We all out of the DMV area, and we have another member who's uh, not on the road with us right now, but he's flying in later to be with us in our event. And, of course, that was uh, Mr. Kenny Vernon all right. uh, out of Cleveland, Ohio. All right. Now, you other... And Ron Mack out okay. of San Antonio. Now, how many of you all is it all together? Right now, it's four of us. Okay. We're on the road. Okay. All together in the group is six of us. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, for, for, for the sake of the listeners, those of you, some of you, um, if you are able, if you don't have us on speakerphone, but you can talk directly into your phone so that the listeners can hear you uh, nice and clear, that would be great when you are speaking. So um, I don't know who the spokesperson is going to be, but um, just in case, I always start my interviews out like this, uh, especially with, if I'm interviewing someone for the very first time, and I think this is the first time that we've spoken, there is someone who just found Christ yesterday. And they have never heard of No Chains until now. So tell them your story. Tell them how God brought you all together and what God has done to solidify whom you all are in Christ and, and how you all came to be together and got a record deal. Uh, absolutely. Um, um, we've been knowing each other, some of the members in and out, for almost 30 years. We are all veterans of the United States military armed forces. Uh, with over 130 years of service between us. So um, as you can imagine, being in the military and, and uh, going to this location, this location, out of the country, uh, we've seen firsthand the strongholds that bind people. And we were all singers, and we were uh, ministering in um, uh, the military churches in and around the world. And we always said that when we finished our military careers, we would um, come together and get on God's battlefield and work our music ministry. But as you know, um, you say that, and, and you, we parted ways, and we were at different places in the country, and years passed, sometimes 15 to 20 years. And then one day, one of the members, Kenny Vernon, I just started looking for the other members, and, have had, and, and in God's plan, uh, unbeknownst to the rest of us, he had took the entire group and placed them in the Washington, uh, Maryland, Virginia area, to do what we call the DMV. So we know that was God's doing. So we got back together, did what we said we was going to do. Myself and Kenny Vernon, we started uh, forming the group together. And that is now new change, no change. And we added uh, Ron Mack uh, to us uh, later on, who also was knew some of the members while he served in the military as well. So um, that's our story on how we came to be. We chose the name No, Ch no Change out of the book of Acts. 
Um, and of course, you know the familiar story where Paul and Silas were shut up in prison. And uh, in their darkest hour, they were singing praises to God and, and, and uh, praying. And as the word says at about midnight, that uh, facility, that ground was shaken and everyone's chains were loose. And that's where we take our name of no chain. This is our hope and ministry that those who hear us um, will realize that there are really uh, are no chains holding them in Christ Jesus and they are truly free. Amen. You know, your story sounds very familiar. First and foremost, thank you for your services to our country. I'm a veteran as well. I spent uh, some years at Fort Campbell, Kentucky, first uh, Gulf War veteran. Your story sounds very familiar. Have we spoken? I've spoken to you all before, maybe about four or five years ago, maybe. You spoke to us, I believe, in uh, 2014, 15. Uh, when we released our debut CD called Call on Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm listening to you. I'm going, okay, wait a minute. This sounds so, so, so familiar. And so, okay, well, let me say welcome back to a real gospel then. Okay. Ah, I appreciate you guys. So God is still working wonders through you all. And let's talk about this new CD project. And uh, it is called uh, Tell Somebody. So what are we telling everybody? We're just following up Call on Jesus. We, we we told them to go ahead and find them in our first project. <laughs> and now that you got them, go yeah. tell somebody. Well, there it is. Go witness, you know, right? Go, go share it. <laughs> you know, it's a complete project to, to, to those that are in the body saying, go ahead. Go ahead out there and you got to work. That's it? <laughs> Who was that? Gene? Who was that? Herb? Who was that? Ken? No, that was Gene. That was Gene. <laughs> Come yeah, on, we fellas. Want, we want people to, yeah, they, they kind of shy. Come on, fellas, you don't know, be they, shy. Yeah, t- tell somebody. Come on. <laughs> tell somebody. Yeah, what do y'all think about, okay, what's, okay, the, okay, tell, tell us a little bit about the CD project. Because we want the listeners to be inspired. So we want the listeners that they've heard uh, some of the story behind, you know, the, the glory. Uh, and so um, we want the listeners to know whom they're listening to. And I tell you what, this always gets them. Tell somebody about one of the personal struggles that you had to go through in order to get to where you are. Because there's somebody who needed to hear from an evangelist. Someone needed to read something in the scripture where they knew that they needed God to stand by them. Because the single stand by me is sort of speaking to that area. So what was how was that particular song right there birthed? Stand by me. Any one of you all. <laughs> rock, rock, paper, scissors. Here you go, fellas. Rock, yeah, yeah, yeah. rock paper, scissors. Yeah, this is Harry Nash. They call me JR. The CD, we, we all put something into ourselves. We all wrote songs together and stuff like that from everything we went through. I know that for myself, I know back in uh, 2006, I lost my brother in a motorcycle accident. And we were really close. He was my best friend. And uh, I was, it was hard for me to put into words how I felt about it. So, like, one of the songs on the CD, Jesus, I Love You, has a lot to do with, you know, the, the feelings I was going through when I lost my brother. And the brothers here, no change, they helped me. We put together, they helped me with the words, and we put the words together. And I was able to say it through a song, things that I couldn't say out overly verbally by myself. So it was easier for me to communicate through the song. And I know that there's somebody out there who has lost a loved one, and they can feel the pain that, that I was feeling and can understand when you lose somebody that you're close to it's kind of like you lose a part of yourself but god has a way of bringing that feeling back into you to let you know that it's okay because where he's in the best place possible and you will see him again so that that put a lot of meaning for me with with how with the song uh, that we sung as far as jesus i love you so that has a strong meaning for me itself and um I, w- I would like to just follow up on that and as jr was talking about that um it reminded me and you think about what we just went through as a country uh, the elections and everything, and 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 there are a lot of people in the church that are, that are kind of like uh, losing focus. We're looking around too much instead of looking up. And there's a lot of people out there that need God to stand by them. So when we was looking uh, for a song to do, and and um, we heard that that's a cover from Luther Barnes, and the song speaks volumes no matter what you're going through. Um, and that's why we chose that song, and that's why we. Uh, put that there to not only speak to those that are in the church but also those that are out of the church just to say hey you know um 
We will get through this. We just got to keep God in focus, and he will stand by us. Wow. Amen. Sorry for your losses. Um, powerful, powerful, powerful. We all need God to stand by us at some point in time in our lives. Um, what else can we expect from the CD Project? Tell somebody. It's, uh, it's loaded with uh, um, biblical messages. Um, uh, we we kind of like uh, our sound, if you remember from Call on Jesus, is kind of unique. It's not your traditional gospel, nor uh, alternative Christian either. Um, so it's kind of hard to put us in a niche. But um, you'll love the music. Tell somebody the, the, the title track song it, uh, talks to about sharing God's message, what he's done for you. We have a, a, a kind of like the DC Phil uh, song and a song called No Change. Um, that has the DC kind of like go-go feel to it, but also with a strong biblical message behind it. So what listeners can hear when they get that CD is simply going to church. They're going to hear the word of God in a musical form. Did I hear you say um, go-go? DC? That's right. So, That's got, right. <laughs> so you all have a gospel go-go song on this CD project. Absolutely, that's, with a go-go groove. That, that, he, that that's, he can feel. <laughs> that's got to be a first. <laughs> that has got to be a first. <laughs> How does it go? Well, What's our, well, well, I tell you, it, it's, it's no change. You know, when you when you hit that, I mean, that's what we're about. You know, a, a lot of times we uh, they need to hear the word too. <laughs> so we come out there, and and it, and it just took me a typical go-go groove beat. You know, uh, it's a chant type song. It's just telling people that you have no chance. <laughs> you're gonna hear a little bit. Of, you're gonna hear a little bit of everything. You're gonna hear some go go. You're gonna hear a little bit. You listen to the CD. You hear a little bit of Ozzy Brothers. You hear a little bit of Earthwind and Fire. You hear a little bit of everything. It's a, it's a combination of everything, and so I think it'll appeal to all audiences. So that's what we're trying to do: reach out to everybody, not just one individual group, but everybody. Let them know just how strong we feel. How strong our love is for our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. With so many uh, moving parts to the group, how often do you all get an opportunity to collaborate or to be actually together? Um, we, we make it a point. Like uh, JR mentioned and Ken and, and Herb and the rest of the members, we are we are we are good friends and, and uh, uh, we're, we're like family. So we get together every single Saturday. We talk to each other day in and day out, you know, um, clowning against each other. As you know, we all branches, different branches of the military, so we still had that thing going on too, Army, Air Force. So we'll, we'll, we'll clown each other through the week, but we get together mostly every weekend. Oh, wait a minute. I heard somebody say, I, I've got to respond. Who? Oh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You got to say, Grandpa, what? I got one that you probably can't type. Let, let, let's see if you know this one. Air Assault. Ah, I see. Okay, somebody know. I'm, so I'm the only person who's got those wings. Son. It's all good. Yes, yes, yes. How about airborne? Oh, I can't go there. All right. <laughs> all right. We, we, I, we just air fly <laughs> <laughs> and air drop. <laughs> I can't go there. So, are any of y'all, any of y'all still in the military? No, no, not at all. We uh, we retired out. Um, I think the last one retired in uh, July 2011. Okay, okay. Well, great, well, great, well, great. Well, you all are traveling and much continued success to you all. And where can the listeners find out more about you all and your CD project? They can visit www.nochangebooking.com. That's www.nochangebooking.com. Uh, they can follow us on our Facebook as No Change 2014 on Twitter. Uh, at No Change Booking but once you go to the website at NoChangeBooking.com you'll come into like a storefront and it'll have everything about us and also where they can purchase sell somebody as well as call on Jesus so we encourage you to go out there and grab it listen to it and then let us know what you think about it share it with somebody and tell it tell it tell it Amen. I also want to give a shout out to Marnita Coleman for making this happen and for uh, supporting yes, you all and yes, doing yes. the hard work behind the scenes. The group No Chains. Please check them out. They're my brothers, please continue to do what you do. And thank you so much for being my guest on Real Gospel. 
Uh, thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank thank you. Thank you. Now, don't go to that website and click on that No Shame song. Amen. You're going to dance in that studio. <laughs> <laughs> You're listening to Real Gospel with the X-Men.